Well, now we're moving on to some other news and stem cell research has been virtually banned in the U.S., but not here in India. And as a result, many global companies are carrying out state-of-the-art and top-secret medical research in high-tech but low-key labs in the country. Now, in this world-exclusive, NDTV reveals some path-breaking stem cell research that will change the world we live in, research that will put an end to organ transplants. Soon you could have a full body transplant. I am no doctor, but where I am is a top secret lab, a lab where high quality stem cell work is done, a lab in a corner of India, the location of which I cannot disclose. It does work which will change the way human beings view themselves. It is a work which is funded by six pharma companies. It is work which will change the way humans view themselves. If you've got a major heart problem or your liver and kidneys are short, these dodgy organs are transplanted from a brain dead person. Now all that organ transplant stuff is history with this new stem cell research. The future is here in these labs. It's being codenamed FBT, full body transplanting. If your body is not functioning well, the arteries to your heart are blocked, kidneys weak, and you've got, say, cancer of the liver, instead of getting a brain-dead person and carry out a series of transplants and multiple surgeries, these doctor scientists now slice you just once, only one cut, right across your neck and across the neck of your brain-dead full-body donor, or FBD as they are called here. Then it's simple. They just take your head and place it on the donor's entire body. In effect, you now have a fully functional, healthy and totally new body. But with the same brain, your own brain. The breakthrough is due to advanced and sophisticated stem cell techniques that for the first time allow us to fuse, that is to join the bodies of two individuals. So far, though these scientists refuse to confirm or deny if they successfully done FBTs, full body transplants on six terminally sick patients who are now walking around with their former faces and brains but with new bodies. For obvious reasons their identities are secret but they are being monitored very closely as they walk around their hometown. Their bodily functions and signals are tracked right here. If these six are successful we could see hundreds of FBTs starting from this day next year. It's that close. While medically, these old head on new bodies are doing fine. There have been some practical and ethical questions raised. The patients had to get their fingerprints redone because their new bodies and new hands too. Also, in one case, the relatives of a brain dead donor have claimed that the new head and body belongs to their family as 90% of the new person is that body. So what if the brain is someone else? They claim the soul of a person lies in the heart and so it belongs to them. In one case, psychiatric counselling was needed because it was the first time a woman's body was attached to a man's head. The, the man's brain was finding it difficult to work with a female body as it was the only full body match available at that time. Is it he or she is still glad to be alive? But there are some super successes too. A short 5 foot man terminally ill. He has now got a FBT of a 6 foot athlete and he is thrilled. Also a 70 year old woman is ecstatic. She was lucky to get the body of a 21-year-old model who died in a car crash and was a perfect match. This whole body transplant opens up a whole new world. It throws up many ethical, religious and philosophical questions. It also threw up for me a very interesting thing. I have started feeling, can I change my body? Can the mind be changed? Can the body of another person be attached to me? Can I become an athlete? Can I become an astronaut? These are the kinds of feelings which comes to my mind. A bit goalish, but that is how it is. 
but for terminally ill people it offers a wonderful new opportunity an opportunity which will change the way human beings view themselves at a very secret location pallav bagla for ndtv